The following Defending Our America episode is presented without commercial interruption by Sig Sauer. first got on the job this corner right here in the corner we just passed were two rival drug families you know and the younger kids were secretly playing with each other and then they'd grow up to kill each other and you know in a matter of the first 10 years i was on the job i watched that family structure dwindle down to you know there's nine kids in the family and all of a sudden in 10 years there's four kids left you know it's, it's pretty crazy i'd like to think that just because i'm exposed to this every day that that's not really what america's all about they, they kind of lump this all into illegal immigration. And so they say, oh yeah, in the Southwest, there's an illegal immigration problem. Well, no, it's not necessarily just an illegal immigration problem. There is some illegal immigrants, but here we have a drug smuggling problem. We have an extortion problem. We have a robbery problem. We have child exploitation problem. We have rapes, we have homicides. Those are the problems that we're dealing with that are the true acts of evil going on out here associated with the Mexican cartels and them pushing their poison into the U.S. I think the citizens think that it's not a problem in their area, it's a problem in our area, but what they don't realize is that these guys are forward deployed throughout the whole U.S. because the drug problem is not just in Arizona. You throw a, a frog in, in a, a pot of boiling water, he jumps out. You put him in a pot of lukewarm water, he'll stay there and then you turn the fire on, and he'll never jump out, he'll die in there. It will get hot slow enough that he doesn't really feel the difference and doesn't realize the urgency to get out. We are reliving Rome. I mean, yeah, just think absolutely. about that. That's, that's a key thing, is, is when you look at, at how Rome fell. Right. Absolutely the center of the world, strongest, yeah. dominant, most dominant country in the world, but corruption of the morals, Corruption of their politics. Uh, they imploded. They, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. There, yeah. there was nobody who could take down Rome but Rome. Right. Yep, yeah. they were the only ones that could. And it's really the same thing here. This is what's gonna solve that. Us stepping up and, peop and stop having these conversations in private and start having them more public. And that's what I tell all my guys when they say, what can we do? I say, start telling people what's really going on. We need to tell people what's education. really going on. We don't have to live in, uh, where we lock ourselves up in our in our houses and we we um, are afraid to venture out because you know there's there's bad people out there you know nobody wants that but we need to be aware of it i witnessed you know violence overseas that uh, uh, just amazed me the depravity that was involved and how how people could do these things to other human beings Khalid Sheikh Mohammed one of the mastermind of 9/11 was responsible for a host of things. And he uh, enjoyed doing what he did. It was, it was literally brought him joy to kill innocent people. Until we stop the mindset of people like Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, we are gonna have this problem eternally. They've turned the teaching of jihad over on its head to be, it must be violent. Rather than an internal struggle, it must be a violent struggle and you must kill those who prevent us from having what we want. And that's the enemy we face. And the reality is, if you don't recognize that, it doesn't take away the threat. You can ignore it, you can put blinders on, you can say they're loving, peaceful people, and you can put a bumper sticker on your Prius, but it does not stop those people from wanting to kill you and trying to in every way they can. What are we doing to stop it? Not even knowing where, where most of you live, did you pick your house on strategic location? Did you pick your neighbors specifically on what their morals and what their standards were? It starts with your own house. It moves out to your neighbors. It moves out to your neighborhood, moves out to your city, moves out to your county, moves out to your state, and continues out throughout the country. That is what each one of our parts as Americans is supposed to be. We are supposed to defend our country with each little piece of the pie that we can. These people have million dollar homes, drive a mile from here and 
they're in row homes and you know things might be tight but this whole area will be affected you know by by decisions that people make short term and long term as well as every other community in, in america so next time on defending our america why is it that we can harp on little things that are minute overseas with minor criminal infractions, a, a rogue military guy being stupid and acting out of turn, and that'll be harped on for a month. But hundreds of murders along the border, 90% of the U.S. population will never hear about. Yeah.